Hello guys, in today's video we're taking a look at a cool app from a company called Mix Vibes. This is Remix Video. Now, a lot more DJs out there are coming across things like LED walls and projection and screens when it comes to performing gigs. So there's now an ever-increasing need for DJs to incorporate video and live visuals with their music. So Remix Video is a program designed to give you playback control over video as well as audio from software that works in a similar way to something like a launch pad where you can trigger different sequences with very simplistic controls. This is taking video, trying to simplify it as much as possible and get rid of all the nitty gritty bits so you can just go ahead and perform. So into the software here, this is the main interface you're gonna spend most of your time looking at. On the right hand side here, you have your pads or all of your different video files you can click and trigger and play back. On the left hand side, you have your kind of main output and the bottom here is your effects. So looking at the right hand side here, it's laid out very much like you would see with like a launch pad or basically any sampler piece of software or any sampler controller. Just a whole load of buttons that you can trigger at any time. Now it's split up into columns. So you can see here all the columns are color coded and they're effectively your video layers. You can't play back two video clips on the same layer at the same time. But I can go ahead here and add a whole load of different clips playing back on top of each other and you can see how that's affected on the output over here. Now this software also does sound, it's not just for playing back video. We can see at the bottom here we've got our little VU meters which show the, um, the audio level and if I unmute my speakers here, we can hear the sound that's playing out. At the top here you have your BPM. So one thing that's important to mention is all of these clips in this sample pack I've got loaded at the moment are synced to the BPM master. So I can go ahead and I can speed up my BPM and it's gonna speed up the BPM of the clip so they're always in time with the music. So one thing that's really awesome about this software over other different video playback solutions is this can sync up your BPM to software like Ableton Live using Ableton Link. So you're able to sync the BPM so that your music that you're mixing is always in time with your DJ visuals. So rather than just having stuff you have to manually sync, there is a physical connection there between the BPM of what you're playing and the BPM of your visuals. And what this means is very easily you can create visuals that sync perfectly to the beats of the music you're playing. Now just to mention, this is not a full in-depth tutorial in the software. This is just a first look to show you what this software can do. So I'm not gonna go into all the details of how to set it up and make it all work. I'm just gonna give you the very basics. So on the left hand side here with our output we've got mix options, this will be common if you've ever used any kind of media server or any kind of video editing software even. Click on the drop down here you've got several blending modes, some you may recognise like screen, add and multiply. And changing these will change how your output looks and how your layers are mixing together. You've also got options for uh, which layers appear on top of which other layers in terms of order and you can even stripe different layers together lots of cool ways to manipulate your video layers. And underneath we have an effects section. It's very simple. You have a drop down menu with a whole load of effects and then using this XY grid here, you can control how that effect is running on the video. So I can select here uh, swirl and using kind of an XY grid, I can manipulate my video. Now when you're playing back live, you're not necessarily going to need to be able to see all of this stuff on the left hand side. So you can press this button and all you've now got remaining on your screen is just the pads in their full expanded view. So you can just easily select them as you want. Um, you can also, if you've got a touch screen, just simply tap on the videos with your fingers, which is a really nice way to interface with the software. This button in the top right here basically goes full screen on a secondary display. So you can output the visuals onto an external monitor. Down the right hand side, we have some more options to go to different kind of views that allow you to set up and control the software. So in this view, you get more audio controls for each individual layer. You've got a three band EQ, filter controls, along with volumes with mutes and solo buttons. It's important to note that these mutes also apply to the video as well as just the sound. The next option below is kind of an editor view where you can go and adjust what all your pads do. I can select a pad. I can say if I wanted to loop, if I wanted to play back once only, or if I wanted to gate so it's only playing back when I hold down my button. You can quantize it to a global BPM, adjust the gain, things like that. You can also go ahead and add video effects, so you can use a keyer to key out a particular color in the video to reveal other information behind. You can adjust its scale and position and hue, contrast, brightness and saturation, and that applies to every single video clip individually. So you've got a lot of control here. 
And finally, you've got a trim option so you can trim the video down to exactly what you want. You can also do some really other nice things here, like you can pick the artwork for your thumbnail. So rather than having to work with whatever thumbnail the software automatically generates, you can scroll to get the perfect thumbnail and apply it to your video. The final option below with the folder icon is basically your library, where you can go through all your different clips and assign them to different pads. You can view different packs of visuals which you can download from the Remix video website. Particular clips broken down by categories. You can even go through different particular generators and even add in things like live cameras with inputs of capture cards or USB webcams. So for example, if I wanted to use my FaceTime camera here, I can drag and drop it into a layer. And then you can click on it and load up the FaceTime camera into the software, which is really cool for being able to do things like have a camera filming what you're doing as you perform. There's loads of different things you can do in the settings. One of my favorite things about the software is the fact that everything can be mapped. So you can map any single attribute of the software to say a button on your keyboard or using an external MIDI controller like a launch pad, which would be ideal for this software. And then finally in the video output, you've got a few options in terms of how you're outputting your video. It's not that advanced, but you do have control over basically a four corner kind of keystoning if you're using things like a projector. There's also a main menu section here which allows you to access the different sample packs you can download. You can create your own custom sample packs or download ones from the website. You can also record your output if you wanted to to be able to play back later. There's also an autopilot function which will basically put the software into auto mode where it's automatically going to play back and select different clips randomly but still matching up with the BPM of your music. One thing that's important to mention at this point is when you select a pad, it's only going to activate on the first beat of the bar. And that's of course because remember we're syncing to the BPM of the music and we're trying to hit each individual beat. So that was just a really quick look at the software, by no means a detailed tutorial. If you do want to learn more, make sure you go check out the links I'll put in the description down below. Now before I go any further, this software is currently only available for Mac for sale through the Mac App Store at a cost of £99. I have been told there is a Windows version coming very soon. So what do I actually think of this software? I think it is a very intuitive way to play back video. My favorite things about it are the ability to sync up your BPM with all of your clips to your music you're actually performing with, particularly if you're using software like Ableton and Ableton Link. Having your visuals perfectly match up with the BPM of your tracks, having it all just seamlessly done for you is really nice. Now this software is still very new, so there's a lot of things I'd like to see personally added into the software. Things like a BPM tempo tap so you can tap in the BPM of your tracks if you're not using Ableton. And possibly things like using Pioneer CDJ link network capabilities to be able to send the BPM from Pioneer CDJs into uh, the software. However, not fully understanding how that protocol works, that could be something that's very simple or something that's impossible. I don't really know. The main thing I like is how just intuitive this software is and a very simple playback solution. Just clicking on clips to play them back perfectly in time with the music. Overall, fantastic software and I really enjoy using it. Hopefully we'll see lots of updates in the future which make it even better. If you want to find out any more information about Remix Video, check out the link in the description down below and if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments. And if you'd like to see a full tutorial video where I go in depth on how the software works, let me know and I can put one of those together. But that's it for this video and as always, thanks for watching.